What are you doing, Mook? You made me a TikToker. I have to do a TikTok content. Never know. I don't never know how to use TikTok. All Generation Z knows how to use TikTok. Well, this is my very first time using TikTok, so now get out of my way. You are in my frame. Mook, you can't just hide back there all the time. I don't want to talk to you. What is this video today going to be about? Bitcoin Cash in Bangkok. Okay, let's go. You know, it's been a really long time since I've used this camera. I've just been using my GoPro. It's so much easier. People don't stare at me when I'm using my little GoPro, but um, I've missed the good quality. I've missed how nice this camera makes everything look, including me. Yeah, the police are staring at me, everyone's staring at me. The idea of coming to Thailand is to document and find out what happened to Bitcoin Cash here in Bangkok. Because Bitcoin Cash was sort of the uh, big crypto of Thailand. And as you guys may have heard or not, Thailand banned using cryptocurrency as money. So you can't go to a store and spend Bitcoin Cash to get your food. It's just not legal here anymore. I'm kind of curious why, what happened, and if there's anywhere here that still takes Bitcoin Cash. So that's what we're gonna find out today. Price of all cryptos, Bitcoin Cash and everything else, has crashed so much that most people here don't even want to accept it. In this video, I was going to go to all of the places that used to accept crypto and double check if they still do, but after going to them off camera, there's not really a point because really none of them do to begin with. Now Mook has a friend here who apparently still accepts Bitcoin Cash at her business. So we're gonna go and talk with her and find out what's changed, why she accepts cryptocurrency, why she believes in it, and why she thinks other people might have changed their mind on cryptocurrency. It's actually a couple, so boyfriend and girlfriend. The cutest couple I have ever met. Yeah, you know, crypto, it just, it's been so hard because the price has gone down so much that it really hurts adoption. The irony here, unfortunately, is that right now is the best time to get crypto. Right now is the best time to invest in it. It's definitely the best time to have your business accepted because that way when the market recovers, you can do better, right? Right now, that's not even possible because you're not really supposed to be accepting cryptocurrency here uh, to begin with. So, you know, I don't think the Thai government is really gonna watch my tiny little YouTube channel. What do you think about Bitcoin Cash maybe becoming the legal tender of St. Kitts and Nevis? That's good, I'm jealous. I wish Thailand legalized that crypto can be used as a payment too. Would be cool because I get my salary in crypto and it's annoying that I have to convert into Thai baht before I can use it. If I can pay it with crypto, that's less annoying. This is the plan. Uh, so chips and guac, yep. and you want Mexican fries? Yes, and oh. some you like. Cool, all right. Thank you. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Ola Thai. How do you pronounce the name of your restaurant? Ola. <laughs> Ola. Like hello in Spanish. Ola. Ola. <laughs> Don't you speak Spanish? Ola Thai Tapas. I just fell. Yeah. Hi everyone, today we are at Ola Thai Tapas. I know the owner, um, Nancy and Dasho from Twitter. We'll see if that's true. So you, do you accept cryptocurrency? We do, yeah. You don't mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So you accept cryptocurrencies here? Yeah. That seems... Interesting, just because over the past year, the market's obviously not doing, done so well. Yes, yes, And yes. also the laws have uh, changed here, right? Yeah, the laws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me about it. Like, when did you start accepting it? What makes you still accept it? Are you worried about how Thailand's changed the regulations? Um, well, we started accepting it because I wanted to, you know, give people an option, I suppose. Still accept it because it, it, it in some ways, I guess it draws people in and uh, does give people an option to pay that might not be typical here, cash or credit, whatever it is. Uh, with the laws, though, it's like we're still trying to learn what's changing, what's happening there. So, you know, today it might be one thing, tomorrow it might change quickly. So who knows what's happening. But uh, with the market changes and fluctuations, I'm not too worried about that, though. So. Me neither. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. What cryptos do you guys accept? Just Bitcoin Cash, actually. Really? So Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, so why Bitcoin Cash? friend of ours uh, kind of works with Bitcoin Cash in Thailand, and so we decided, you know, give it an option. Uh, they helped us set it up and um, kind of learn the ropes as well, and that's, that's that, you know? I mean, I would probably be happy with accepting anything else, but at the moment it's just Bitcoin Cash and something um, to allow us to maybe enter a different marketplace and attract people that 
uh, might be interested in cryptocurrency. So, yeah. My favorite cryptocurrency is Bitcoin Cash too. So, um, very happy to be able to pay for it. Uh, so that, that's great. Yeah, I'm very excited. I've looked for a lot of places in Bangkok that accept it, and so much has changed in the last year that's been very difficult. Very nice meeting you, man. Thanks for uh, inviting me in. And yeah. So one other thing, by the way, is I have a crypto map that lists all the places that accept cryptocurrency. Yeah. And I will add your place onto it. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. So Excellent. other people can know that you're here. Cool. Yeah. Share the love a bit. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, man. Very nice meeting you. Uh, nice to meet you as well. Uh, yeah. Guacamole. You ready? Guacamook. Guacamook. We make everything homemade every day. So, yep. Fresh from the market. Top review. The fact that I recommend you to come to this place, I already tell them. The place is good. All right, my turn. I was just in Mexico too, so I'll be extra mean. Yeah, the chip is still burning hot. It's really nice. That's really nice. Like tomato. tomato. This is the first time I've paid with Bitcoin Cash in Bangkok in over a year. That's Here very we go. specific. That's very specific. All right, so there is the QR code. And uh, I didn't even point my phone at it. It just happened to catch it, I guess. Okay. Hey. Thank you. Okay, Bitcoin Cash. Thank you very much. All right, much. there we go. Bitcoin Cash here in Bangkok still exists. You just have to find the places. So <laughs> this guy, he's loving it too. You love it? Yeah. <laughs> so now we need to list this place on the use cash map so that way you can come and find it. So the way to do that is very easy. I logged in to use cash. We're going to click here, three dots, and uh, click, click the plus button to add a new merchant. And then it will let us select anywhere that's in this circle because you have to be in the actual area itself. Okay, so I found the location on the pin. I put it there. Then I'm going to scroll down and we're going to upload a photo of the outside. I'm going to take a photo. Boom. All right. Use photo. Merchant name is Ola. Category is food and dining. Country and region is Thailand. All right. So I put everything in. And now as far as uh, which cryptos are accepted, I'm going to press Bitcoin Cash. There we go. And then submit new merchant. So now Ola Tapas is going to be on the list. All right, there we go. Ola Thai Tapas is now on our uh, map. And we can see the last crypto activity was a few seconds ago when I put it on the map. This is also now connected to my profile. So all of the places that I list will show up on the map. And also soon in an upcoming feature, we'll be able to actually tip me because I'm going around onboarding merchants. Now they can actually use checkout.usecash.com and then anytime that someone purchases something with Bitcoin Cash, it will automatically update the map. So you can see that it's always um, active. So yeah, done, boom. And look, there's the sticker. Bitcoin Cash accepted here and got it on the map. Beautiful. All right, let's go. So there you go. We got to see what's happening with Bitcoin Cash in Bangkok a little bit. Right. So there's not very many places that accept it anymore because of both the law and also because of the market. But hey, that's just how the world is right now. Anyway, one last thing I want to tell you guys is uh, to check out map.usecash.com. I'm actively working on that, upgrading it, uh, and it is open beta right now. So you can come and use a map system that is better than really any other map out there, any other crypto map. So it's cash except here. <laughs> yeah, Bitcoin Cash accepted right there. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, that's map.usecash.com. The link is in the description. If there's any suggestions or feedback that you have for the map, let me know. And that's something that we can build in future iterations. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> I really enjoyed the presentation. <laughs> Just a small thing I order. Oh, this one is the one with Thai ramen whiskey in it. It's called Meho. The presenter said that she liked this one a lot because it's gonna be a little bit sweet and of course there's alcohol in it, that's why she loves it. Um Tuxedo Bolas de Noel Pina Colada. This one. This looks like a little coconut chocolate caramel locket. The mushroom, this is my favorite. Yeah, I judge it. I already judge it by how it looks. This one is the cutest. And macaron, do you have to tell you which one is macaron? That's gonna be your favorite because you like meat. What a psychopath, like the thing that tastes like a toothpaste. My toothpaste tastes like ginger. That's why you are a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs>
Scottish scone. I like scone. And she says it's like old traditional scone. I scared a little bit when she said, oh, it's old scone. I was like, how old is it? Three days, seven days? And then she's like, oh, I mean old traditional scone. Santa hat, vanilla, bourbon mousse. I want a Hogwarts hat. Can you see Harry Potter? Hog sandwich with Thai herb in it. Looks so good. I'm gonna eat that and not share it with you. End of presentation. Any question? No, thank you. Small snacks. Didn't tell you how much I'm going to order it. I said I want to order something small. 